for the incline dumbbell flies you'll need a pair of dumbbells as well as a stub stability ball if your average height I would say uh, and I would say average height 5'5 five, five to 6 foot um, even maybe 5'4 or 5'3 for ladies probably a 65 centimeter ball will be perfect uh, too big and you won't have it won't be comfortable. Too small, is, you'll be too close to the ground. So probably a 65 centimeter ball is the best. And then from here, you sit on the ball, and when you place yourself, make sure you have lots of room to in front of you, so that, for example, you can see here I'm close to my dumbbell rack. I'm not worried about it because as I go in position, I'm going to walk forward, roll my back on the ball, and I'm going to position it until my shoulder blades, upper back, are. Um, are resting on the ball and for incline I'm going to keep my bum down close to the ground so walking forward I bring the dumbbells at the same time to my chest and you can see here my upper back is resting on the ball my bum is close to the ball to the floor and my legs are really bent my um, hamstrings are resting on my shins so it's kind of a comfortable position and then from here press um, over your chest Palms are facing each other, and you will open up. You keep the hands in line with the chest, and then you bring it back up. At the top, contract your pectorals. So a nice stretch, and then a squeeze. My arms are so uh, softly bent, so soft elbows. And the flies are a great exercise to really target the pectorals without involving the triceps. And then when we do a bench press, there's also a lot of triceps involved. So the main muscle here, pectorals, secondary, the front delts are also involved. When you're done, okay, you have a couple choices. It's easy to put the dumbbells on the floor, which is an option. But if it's not too heavy, you can just walk back up to the seated position on the ball. 